I'm going to be looking at a digital photo frame by Keydeek. Now this is a 10.1 inch touch screen. That's with um, IPS. That's uh, implant switching, which is uh, 178 degrees without dead ends. Right, let's have a look what we get in the box. There's the uh, instructions, which I'll have a good read through. Now, I know it's got an app with it, uh, which links to it, so I shall scan that code and I'll put the app on. Um, it's got a 16 gigabyte built-in memory. And uh, the resolution is uh, 1280 by 800. Let's take that off. That's screen protector. Things on the screen, but there we go. The screen. Let's see what else we get in the box. Right, there's a stand and a power lead. Just put that out of the way. So we've got the power connector there. It's a stand for the back of it, I presume. I see it can go in. Looks like it goes in different positions. Don't go in that way. Or this way. It's up right. And it's got a hole for hanging it. There's the power there. And I believe this takes an SD card. I'm uh, just looking for a slot on it. Can't see one, but... Oh, there we are. There's a, a slot in there for an SD card. And there's where the power connection goes. Anyway, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I shall... Scan the uh, app. And install the app. And then I shall come back with that. Give it a try out. Once I'm, uh, once I'm aware of how everything works on it. I've now got this all set up and ready to go. It, it does take a while to start up, so I've started it. And that's uh, ready to go. Um, here's the app. And if I go through the menu on this, you've got the, uh, you can react to a photo. So if I react to that, uh, like that, it gives a notification also on the app. Um, you can hide a photo uh, and you've got the gallery if you go to the gallery there it shows the gallery of the photos I put on go back from the gallery you've got the settings here's the settings here you can put the frame name where it's located the language, date, time a time zone of course day of the week and use 24 hour you can manage the photos from here, um, showing, hiding them, deleting photos, import photos. That's from the SD card you can put in there and import them from there or place from external storage. You've got friends. Um, my daughter's linked us to this and uploaded some photos on there. And you've got the display. And you can adjust the brightness level. Slideshow, it gives you the options of showing the captions, uh, fill the frame, that means if you've got a, a, a narrow picture it fills the frame with sort of colour. Um, and you've got the frame background, the blurred bars, uh, display order. Uh, display order you can go by, uh, let's have a look at that, you can go by the date was received, the date taken or just shuffle. Uh, if I just put that on shuffle. Um, you've got auto plays on, video playback, auto mute and video volume. It's just the Wi-Fi settings there. Notifications. I've got all the notifications on. You can back up and storage. So you can back it up to an SD card or have it automatically back up. And you've got the help and the, uh, the about. Just gives you the details on the frame. 
So if I go to the gallery, I'll start from there. I've set this to uh, change. You can set the time. I've got it on five seconds, so it just uh, flicks through fairly quickly. And you've also got when you if you touch the screen, you can fit to the frame, or you can fill the frame. And it also auto orientate. So if you've got it upright, it'll uh, orientate for that. You've got videos. It does play volume, but it is very, very low. You can't hear it, but you know, even on uh, full volume, it uh, it isn't much. You can swipe the photos through. works quite well um, the only thing I don't like is is you are cycling through all the photos you've got on there you can hide photos but I'd rather sort of uh, have albums so you could go to a certain album but that you can't do um, the app as I say it's very easy to upload a photo from from here straight onto the uh, so if I upload that next you can put a caption on it if you want let's put a spaceman and upload that send photo it says you've got a new photo and there it is and I can fit to frame and uh, it will orientate if I put it that way. And uh, that's about it. It's got the caption in the bottom there. As I say, my daughter's linked hers, so that's one of her photos. So, yeah, it works quite well. Um, and really, the only issue I've got is that you, you are, you, you have to have all the photos cycling. Uh, you can't put them in different albums, so you can have selected groups when you can hide photos and uh, delete photos. But uh, yeah, that's it. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'll continue using it and I'll set it up and um, I shall come back with my full written review.